guys, how are y'all doing today? Uh, I had not planned on coming on YouTube at all today, uh, hence no makeup or anything. It's just a uh, kind of a lazy day and I had not planned on doing anything, but I went to the post office, I guess over the weekend, maybe like Saturday, maybe, Saturday or Sunday. And I had a key that I had a package in a larger box. And so when I went and opened the box, there was absolutely nothing in there. And I was like, well, this is weird. So I called the post office uh, actually yesterday morning and told them what happened. I said, you left me a key to a box and it was an empty box. And I had taken a picture of the key and I'd taken a picture of the box to make sure. And, and I know some of the people that work down there. So, but anyway, I just, got out just a few minutes ago and went to the post office and to my amazement <laughs> she had to go back in the back and get this big monstrosity i was shocked i have no idea what is in it it is from my good buddy i'm gonna get you for this uh she goes by so many different names on youtube but i'm gonna give you her real name donna castellanus I hope I said that right, Castellanus, and she's from Texas, and she and I write each other a lot, and she had said something a while back, she was sending something, but I have no idea what's in here. So Donna, here goes the surprise. Let me get this box down. Start taking stuff out here, and I see the first thing. You can call you can call me Queen Bee. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I love it. Look at what a neat water bottle. That is so cute. Yes, and Queen Bee works just fine for me. That is adorable. <laughs> I have a feeling there's going to be some surprises in here. Lots of paper because I packed it up real good. So I, I hope there's no particular order. I'm just, what is this? Oh man, this is fun. I needed this today. I haven't felt real good today. And uh, so there's nothing like getting a big box of surprises, is there? What woman doesn't love a surprise? I'm all red face, no makeup. Hey, we're just among friends, aren't we? In the world. <gasps> oh my lord. How beautiful is that? Oh my gosh, Donna. She's gorgeous. Oh. You probably don't even know that I love, baby dolls were my things and doll my, I, I had a doll collection for my daughter. And my mother kept saying, you know your daughter doesn't like those dolls. You know you're buying them for yourself, don't you? And I was like, yes. Is she not beautiful? Look. Oh my gosh. Let me set her. Ah! I'll have to put, I think she will go, I think, I've got a thing in my guest bedroom that I don't have anything sitting out and she would look beautiful. Look how vintage. Donna, that is amazing. Oh my, this box is full. Here's a whole thing of stickers. To Suzanne, give and it shall be given unto you. Happy spring. Oh my gosh. You are so precious. Look at these little fox stickers. Y'all know I love fox. You're going to make me cry. A pad that says, Miracles are all around us. Amen. Oh. Oh, how 
how cute vacation road trip sightseeing getting away that'd be great for months of mine john's trips you have picked these out with a purpose oh how cute i love paisley stuff and then these little fox, but I don't want to tear your little note up. I want to keep it. Oh my goodness, Tourette man, he will die. Oh my gosh, look how cute. The little, little bitty cars, and y'all, he loves stickers. He loves them, Donna. And to read, man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look at all of this. I have a feeling Red will steal these from Reed. <laughs> and to the one and only Rig, so sweet when he's older. Yeah, Red, Red will steal these too. Mickey Mouse and Sesame Street. <laughs> Look how cute. Ah! Oh, <laughs> to my mom, love, you brighten up my life. Look at the, oh no, does that turn on? It has a little battery thing that you can do, put in it. What does it do? Oh, it turns on. <laughs> She'll love that. She will love that. <laughs> Look at it. You brighten up my life. She'll have that right there. Oh, the little light changes colors. Look at it. Where did you find all this cute stuff? Y'all, there's more stuff in the box. I should have cleaned up and gotten real pretty for this instead of looking so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, it just goes on. To my mom love, greater love hath no man than to lay his life down for his best friend. Well, I'm going to wait and let her unwrap that. It's Suzanne, I better remind myself or I'll forget. <laughs> oh Lord, let's see what that is. <laughs> You have had fun putting this together, haven't you? <laughs> I was so surprised when I was like... <laughs> oh, it's a, it holds a little note, a little reminder. How adorable is that? Well, yes, I will use that as a matter of fact. I leave myself notes all the time. Suzanne hope this doesn't give you the trouble it gave me. Oh, Lord. <laughs> She's got everything wrapped. Oh, how cute. So, is this yours? You said hope. I don't know. Here it is. Hope this doesn't give you the trouble it gave me. Well, maybe you mean in wrapping it. Y'all, that will go. I've got all my stuff over there to get packed up for my spring, but I'm not packing him up yet. Yeah, oh, he's beautiful. He's he's a heavy, like a wood resin. Y'all, look how cute. Now, is this just an accident? Or is it just meant to be? Or have I ever said, irises are my favorite flowers. I have irises blooming in my yard right now. He or she is holding an iris. Look at that. See, I think irises is God's handiwork. I think it is such a beautiful flower. So delicate. Y'all, look. Well, that's it's going right up there on my cabinets. It's staying out. Every time I look at it, I'll think about this Donna, crazy woman Donna that writes me all these hilarious messages and texts. <laughs> He's beautiful. She's beautiful. Are you a he or a she? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. I love this. Look at that. How cute. Now, I bet you had a hard time wrapping it up. That's what you meant. Explanation inside. Maybe I should have looked for the card first. Sending a little smile your way. Keep it in case you need it sometimes. The front is a picture of me and my best smile. <laughs> this woman's hilarious, I'm telling you. Oh, she's typed me a letter. So. So there's an explanation in here for everything, but I'm not, this is, this is, I can, I'm, I'm going to say this is private because this is a beautiful long letter. 
to Suzanne might need a magnifying glass to see this. My gosh, what a wonderful package. You went to some work to do all this, girl. You know, God always knows when you need to lift me up, doesn't he? He knows. Oh, wow. Yeah, I will. Those are the little coloring, they're coloring sticky notes. But won't those be cute? But yeah, you're right. I might need a magnifying glass, but I love the coloring books. I have several of them. Isn't that cute? I'm sure this is going to be in the explanation. I have two stones. One says trust and one says believe. Christ is the rock of our salvation. He absolutely is. Those are beautiful. Did you know I love to feel these, like these rocks that come out of creeks and stuff? I lo Do you not love how smooth they feel? Yeah, those will stay here on my table with all my stuff for my Bible study girls. I thought you could modify this or customize to fit you. This is a fashion emergency kit. God knows I need that. Well, how cute a stain removing wipe. Yes, since the hair's grown out, yes. Look at this. This really does go in your purse, a little miniature sewing kit. One bobby pin and a little emery board. Is that not cute? That really is an emergency. And that's what she said you can modify as you need it. Well, that is too cute. Because all of that, even the stain removing wipe, matches the tin. Oh, there is just, look at this. Something to keep your little treasures in. My mom taught me it's the little things in life that matter sometimes. And this, what in the world? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. How cute. Like a little treasure chest. Oh, you could keep little special things in there. That is so cute. Donna, girl, you've outdone yourself. <laughs> Suzanne, thought this could be useful in your craft room. Keyword, hot. Oh, <laughs> it's a little bag. Look at that. Yeah, that'd be great for pencils and pens. Officer on duty, right, top secret official report. Arson report, building caught on fire because suspect was way too hot. Fire department call. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Oh, that'd be good for a lot of things. Look at that. But I do have a lot of different kinds of pens and pencils and all. And just, you know, sometimes wanting to stick stuff in the car, like when we're going on road trips, that'd be great. That's too cute. <laughs> You're, I love your personality. I swear. And to Suzanne, in the spring, as we hear the birds sing, so shall we. Oh. You don't know this at all, because I know I've never said this. When my daddy preached for years, he got out of church for a long time before he was killed, but my font, one of my fondest memories <laughs> is him standing in the pulpit, and I looked just like him. He was red faced, and uh, he would stand in his in the pulpit, and he'd rear his head back, and he'd say, "Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee." How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. He'd rear that head back. How great thou art. Gosh, you had no way of knowing that. God is so good.
<laughs> didn't mean to cry, but it's just a great memory. And I mean, you have no way of knowing that, but God does. And he knows sometimes that we need little things to remind us of sweet times. And this will go in my office right next to my desk. So that every time I sit down and study Bible lessons, that I'll have that. Gosh, I didn't mean to cry. It's just that you had no way of knowing. That was my daddy's favorite song. Well, I had to turn the camera off. And I guess I should have put some powder on, but I had to regain composure. And I know, Donna, you didn't send this. And I'm not upset. I'm, I'm really overjoyed. And while I had the camera off, I started looking at your letter. And I didn't even see this, but she said she found this little doll. And then no, no one would buy her because her little pinky finger was gone. It was broken off. I didn't even see that when I took her out. But then Donna proceeded to tell me in this letter that um, that she was broken and bruised and she was crying and I asked her why. And she said, because she has no pinky. No one will buy her and give her a home. She said she wanted someone to love her and love broken people. And I told her you were just the person for her. I told her how you tell everyone about Jesus and you share the love of Christ on your channel and she jumped for joy. Well, I guess, well, I ask you, what was I supposed to do? So she sent me her. You have truly touched my heart today. With I mean, all this love and God used you. I'm reading a book called The Deborah Anointing, and it's about Deborah in the book of Judges, which is not, you know, a very well-known person talked about, but it talked about our passion in life and following what God wants us to do and how he'll take us one step at a time. And I know that he has led me to all of you that watch me on YouTube because just because so many reasons because not only for you but for me and i know i'm not pretty when i cry i know my face gets redder and redder but donna you say that i have helped you so much and i know you and i have talked a lot and i know that when i do a lesson it's not by accident i know that it is ordained by god even though i pick it out i know that he leads and guides me and directs me where I'm supposed to go and what I'm supposed to teach. And it's even like somebody can listen to a lesson a year later and it touched them because he's an on-time God. He just, he never runs out of time and he, he really doesn't even work in time. We're the only ones who work in time. His time is indefinite and everlasting and from beginning to end. And, and you just can't imagine... <laughs> what this means to me, what this signifies, because I do want to help broken people. I've been broken several times myself, but God's always merciful to bring me back. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and for you to recognize that, and for him to speak that through your spirit, Donna, lets me know that you've come a long way from when we first started talking, that God is speaking to you. And so where he has used me to minister to you and to others, well, he has truly, truly used you today. Let me just tell you, he's truly used you. And I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm really crying because God has just stopped the world from spinning today to let me know that I'm special. And you didn't know when you picked this up what it would mean to me, what it would mean to me. But he did. He did, and it's not coincidence. See this shirt I got on, it says I'm a blessed girl. I truly am a blessed girl today. And I promise y'all when I come back that I will try to be prettier than this. But it's Donna's fault. <laughs> it's all your fault, my sweet, sweet friend from Texas. I love you. 
And like I told somebody before, if we never get to meet on this earth, we will meet one day in heaven. And we'll sit down and we'll talk about this day. And we'll talk about how that, you know, God used me to minister to you, but then he turned the door so that you could minister to me. Well, I didn't know when I opened all this that I was going to end it crying, but I just can't seem to get a hold of myself because God is so good and he's touched me so much today. So thank you, Donna, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you even more now than I've loved you before. And I know I'm going to look horrible on this video, but it's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. I love you. I love all of you. You are all very special to me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart.